Now I want you to remember these helpful tips when preparing meals. Now common sense is not so common. So when you're cooking around others, sometimes surrounding company forgets cooking safety when in a hurry or having fun. So keep your eyes, ears, and definitely your nose open to any warning signs of potential hazards. Check temperatures of meats and various cooked items. A cooked meat should have the internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit to be considered safe for eating. Keep those chemicals stored away from the stove, microwave, food prep surfaces, or food storage areas. If there is an unknown leak from a harmful chemical container, it may contaminate your food. Stir foods properly if using a microwave to distribute heat. You can use a cooking thermometer that can be found at Walmart or Amazon for a pretty good price. It does not have to be fancy and it does not have to be expensive. And again, keep chemicals away from foods, preferably in a low, cool area. Now, there are three types of cross-contamination. There's physical, where a non-food product is in a food item that can hurt someone if it is eaten, like a piece of plastic or hair. These things you can hopefully see if they are present. Bacterial. You usually cannot see this type of contamination unless it is a visible mold. Bacterial is where a contaminated food will cause a foodborne illness which can cause sickness or possibly death. The best way to prevent bacterial contamination are buying foods from certified food distributors, proper temperature control for meats and vegetables, throw away any dented or leaked canned goods, and washing your hands for 20 seconds. Now you'll notice that this next picture is the cleaning materials, right? So can, can chemical contamination Chemicals cannot be ingested because they cannot be digested. Chemicals in the body can cause major organs to fail. So if anyone or you accidentally consume any chemicals, you need to induce vomiting immediately and see your doctor right away.